Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some active weather out there this morning, in mainly the form of rain showers, not seeing much thunderstorm activity across the region, well over the Gulf Stream seeing some thunderstorms, but overall, we're going to see only slight chances of thunderstorms today. Uh, best chance will be during the peak heating between about noon and 6 o'clock this afternoon, or this evening, I should say. And that's going to be our best chance of thunderstorms. However, we'll have continued chances of rain showers moving in off the ocean, as well as low-level cloud cover across the region. So it's going to be kind of a humid, dreary day across the region. Looking at our sounding from this morning, we have a freezing level at 14,100 feet. Our winds are out of the east and the low levels becoming more southeasterly as we move up in the column. And fairly late overall, just seeing winds peaking near 20 knots at 1,000 feet as well as 20 and 25,000 feet. And those winds turn more out of the south at 20 and 25,000 feet this morning. Take a look at our current surface analysis. We have this boundary that's across the Gulf Stream into the coastal Carolinas. That's moving back, retrograding towards the WAPS region, as well as a stationary boundary well off to the west that's associated with a much colder air mass over the Rocky Mountains. Uh, it's going to not really make much progress towards our region. We'll be continued in this pattern with this boundary across the region and giving us daily chances of showers and slight chances of thunderstorms overall, but chances look to increase for thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday and into the weekend. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery this morning, you can see we have a lot of cloud cover across the region, and that's going to be the case today. Going back in time here a little bit, you can see that cloud cover just kind of streaming in from the south into the upper level flow, uh, continuing over the region, and that's going to be the case for the remainder of today. Looking at our Radar imagery, you can see we have some showers mainly off the west and to the north. Uh, seeing a little bit of that activity start to move in from the ocean. Uh, you can see here, zoom out, trying to see some of the shower activity moving in from the ocean. But overall, it's going to continue to see spotty showers throughout the morning hours. Their best chance is more showers popping up this afternoon. Taking a look at the HER model and how that's going to play out for our weather today with the derived reflectivity. Here's noon and then... 1400 local, 1600 local, 17, 1800 local. You can see not much activity, mainly confined off the west, but I do expect us to pick up some more rain showers moving in today. Moving in the overnight hours, uh, models, the high res models, including what the, the her here, I should say, uh, is bringing in some showers off the ocean overnight. And looks like uh, could see in a bed thunderstorm is that with that as well, so can't rule out the shower thunderstorm chances overnight. And moving to Thursday, Looks like mainly the convection and the higher chances of showers will be off the west and the north once again. But uh, with that very moist atmosphere we have in place as well as the boundary near us, can't rule out showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. And tomorrow looks like uh, slightly better chances of thunderstorms, but slightly lower chances of rain showers overall for our Thursday. And moving on to the European model, look at the long range outlook. You can see the shower activity across the region today and then for Thursday. Uh, continue to see those showers and thunderstorms Friday, much the same. That boundary just kind of lingering over the region. Here's Friday afternoon. And then finally for Saturday, it looks like an area of high pressure will build in from New England, possibly ridging down far enough to the south to give us a break in the wet weather. Overall, right now, it looks like that boundary is going to be close to the region once again on Saturday, and that could provide us with continued chances of showers and thunderstorms for Saturday. Saturday mainly looks like more of a uh, showery type uh, setup instead of a thunderstorm setup with the northeasterly flow being quite strong. And for Sunday, we'll see that boundary move back over the region as a warm front, giving us more humid conditions, warmer weather, and chances of showers and thunderstorms. And then for Monday, it looks like We'll see showers and thunderstorms across the region with the boundary moving through, mainly during the morning hours on Monday. Boundary has slowed up from yesterday, looked like yesterday. Boundary would move through on Sunday evening. Right now, it looks like it's Monday morning. So, could be seeing this boundary slow up and even provide us with showers and thunderstorms for Monday afternoon. So, taking a look at our risk chart for today, we'll have those better chances of showers this morning into the afternoon hours with our best chance during the afternoon hours. Best chance of thunderstorms during the afternoon hours with a 30% chance. And then continuing on overnight, but a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, from about 1800 local through the remainder of the night. 
We'll see the ceilings possibly below 500 feet through the next 24 hours. And looking at our high today around 80 degrees, a low tonight at 75, so not much movement in the temperatures as we'll have onshore flow. Uh, a lot of cloud cover out there, so not much movement in our temperatures. Northeasterly flow, 8 to 13 knots, westerly gusting up as high as 19 knots today into the afternoon hours, and then calming down overnight. Uh, east to southeast, 5 to 10 knots. So the next 24 hours, terminal forecast, currently we do have a ceiling out there at 600 feet, um, possibly seeing that linger in the area through the afternoon hours with uh, lower ceilings uh, expected with any of the showers or thunderstorms popping up, a 30% chance of a thunderstorm from 1,400 local to 1,800 local, then a 20% chance of thunderstorms from 1,800 local to midnight. And then after midnight, we'll continue to see that 20% chance. Can't rule it out. As I mentioned, some of the high-res models are showing that uh, shower or thunderstorm activity moving in. Uh, overall, should see those showers and thunderstorms less prevalent during the overnight hours to lose the heating of the day, but can't rule it out with that 20% chance. Our tides are currently normal. Looking at Thursday and Friday, Thursday, most of the cloudy overcast with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. High of 84 degrees, looks like about a 60% chance of rain showers, 30% chance of thunderstorms. Friday, Thursday night, most of the cloudy overcast, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, a low of 74 degrees. We'll see continued chances, can't rule it out with that boundary near the region, about a 20 30% chance on Thursday night. And then Friday, mostly cloudy overcast, good chance of showers and thunderstorms, a high of 80. Looks like Friday is one of our better chances to see thunderstorms within 10 nautical miles uh, with more humid conditions, better setup across the region, and a high of 80, as I've mentioned. Moving in the next seven days, we'll have temperatures in the low to mid 80s from today through Friday, then seeing a little bit of a reprieve in the warmer humid air mass on Saturday with uh, cloudy skies, breezy conditions at high pressure trying to build in from the north, only a high of 76, then lower 80s, lower to mid 80s on Sunday and Monday, 84 on Sunday, 83 on Monday, and then Tuesday looks like we'll see some fall or late summer type air mass move into the region with much less humid conditions, ending the chances of precipitation, as well as some really nice weather looks like could be for the middle to latter portion of next week. Overall, for the rain shower, chances look likely from today through Friday. Slight chance on Saturday. Um, a uptick in our chances on Sunday into Monday morning with that boundary moving through. But overall, continued active weather pattern for the remainder of this week into the weekend. And then finally seeing possibly a break in the active weather for middle to latter portion of next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. I'm back tomorrow morning, 8.15 at 10 a.m.